This video is a live walkthrough that will teach you how to optimize your Webflow website to rank on search engines and get tons of organic traffic. Let's do it. All right, so here we've got our website, dentalflow.co. This is the site that we're gonna be optimizing. And the first thing that we need to do is open up our SEMflow plugin right here on the left-hand toolbar. Now I've already run my first audit, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna rerun an audit just to make sure that we have a current score. And then we're gonna be able to walk through every individual page and, and ranking factor to make sure that our site is in perfect condition for search engines. So this audit is going to check for all of the most important ranking factors that Google and other search engines look for. This is gonna be all of your on-page optimizations, okay? So our score is at a 46% right now, and you're going to be able to see all of the pages of your site. So you've got all of your static pages, and then also your CMS pages. So let's start with our home page and we're gonna optimize this thing. Now, the first thing that I wanna do is initiate our Google PageSpeed Insights audit. What this is going to do is show us the current scores of both mobile and desktop so we can see our site performance. All right, so we've got our scores back. These scores are in a pretty good spot for right now. And so we're not gonna worry too much about any optimizations that need to be done here. But if you would like to get in and improve this, you can click see full report right here. And this is going to take you directly to Google PageSpeed Insights to show you the specifics on this page and how you can improve these scores. Okay, so there are a few other things that you're going to be able to do with this SEMflow tool. So you have your keyword features. So the first and most important is you're going to set a focus keyword for your site. So what you're going to do is you're going to type in your keyword, let's just say for right now, dentist New York, and we're gonna save this. And what this is going to do is show you the monthly search volume. It's gonna show you the difficulty to rank for this keyword. And then it's going to give you an overall keyword score. So you can use this tool to check several different keywords and find the best keyword for this specific page. Now this uses the SEMrush API, so you're getting the most accurate keyword data possible. This is going to give you everything that you need to pick the perfect keywords. So we're gonna leave this keyword for right now, and I'm gonna walk you through the other checklist points, okay? So we've got page title is set, which is currently green, so our page title is in a good spot. Page title contains keyword, which has been checked, and it does. H1 is set, H1 contains keyword. We've got our H2 through H6 are used properly. Meta description is set, which it is not, so we'll fix that in a second. And then it's going to check for the keyword within that meta description. It's going to make sure that our meta is the perfect length, not too long, not too short. It's going to make sure that we have the minimum word count that we need. Um, and then it's going to check to see if our focus keyword is found throughout our page content. And then finally, we have our image alt count. So this is gonna make sure that we have our alt tag set on all of our images. Currently, there are 13 images on this homepage and only eight of them have alt tag. So we're gonna to wanna to update that as well. Now, just as a quick side note, if there are pages of your site that you don't want included within your audit, you can click this toggle right here and this will remove that specific page from your audit results. So you can see over here that when we remove that page, it then re-audited all of these pages and our score decreased by 1%. And so you can make sure that you are auditing and optimizing only the pages that you need, okay? So let's come back here to our page keyword is set and let's start from the beginning, okay? so. Right off the bat, I'm noticing that even though there is a lot of monthly search volume, the keyword difficulty is just too high. And so oftentimes when this is the case, you wanna type in different keyword variations to find a better option. And even if a keyword has a lower search volume, if it also has a lower difficulty and it's more specific to what you are offering, that's always going to be worth it. So I could type in something like, best dentist in New York City and click save. And you'll see that the search volume is 50, so much lower, and the difficulty is still quite high. And so this is, is again, not the best option for a keyword. So let's say I wanna get more specific. Let's say that our dental office is in West New York. So let's type in dentist West New York and see if that comes back with any results.
All right, so right here we've got the search volume of 50 and a difficulty of 23, which is exactly what we want to see. A lower difficulty means that it's going to be easier for us to rank quickly for this keyword. So let's go ahead and keep this as our focus keyword, and then we're going to go through the rest of our page and make sure that we're optimizing for this specific keyword. So our page title is set, but what we'll notice is our page title does not contain our keyword. All right, so let's come up here into our page settings for our home page, and you'll see that we do have the title tag set, but we do not have our keyword in here. So dentist in, all we need to do is add West New York, okay? And while we're here, let's also add a meta description with our keyword. All right, so this is all set. We've got the keyword in there. We're gonna go ahead and click save, and let's publish these changes. And then we're going to be able to rerun our audit within SEMflow and it will take into account these updates that we've made. So let's come over here to SEMflow again. And what we're going to want to do is come to our home page and let's refresh this. And you'll see that now our page title contains the keyword and our meta description is set and also contains the keyword. So we've been able to make a bunch of those updates and now they are positively affecting our score. We've bumped up to a 49%. Now we notice that our H1 is not set. So let's come back here to our home page. And the reason is, is because this is set as an H2 tag. Now we need to make sure that we're using these headings properly. So I'm gonna come over here to the settings and I'm going to make sure that this is an H1 tag. And then let's come back here and see what else we have before we republish. So H1 contains keyword, best dentist in New York City. Let's go ahead and add West in West New York City. Now our styling is a little bit off here. I think if we just shrink our fonts a little bit in West and maybe let's just erase in and then we can make this look a little bit better. There we go, Best Dentist, West New York City. Let's go ahead and publish these changes. All right, so those have been published. Let's come back here and open up SEMflow. And we will just rerun the audit on only our homepage so we don't have to wait too long for it to audit the entire site. And now you will see that our H1 is set and it also contains the keyword. Now you'll also notice that over here next to our homepage, we're now seeing a green check mark because this page has been sufficiently optimized. We've got most everything done that we needed to. We can still add um, our keyword into the body copy of our page. But for right now, we are in a really great spot. So what I wanna do now is I want to come over to our teeth whitening page and let's go ahead and do one more. So we're going to click our, our page speed insights. We're going to activate this to first check the performance of this page. All right, so we've got our scores back and those are looking pretty good. Again, if you want to access the full report, you can just click right here and this is going to open page speed insights and show you everything that you can improve upon. But let's go ahead and come back here and first we're going to want to set our keyword. Now I want to make sure that we've got this page open so we know exactly what we're looking at. All right, so here is our page and let's come in here and set a focus keyword. So page keyword is set. I'm thinking let's start with teeth, whitening, NYC. All right, so this is a really great keyword opportunity. So we've got search volume of 1300 per month and a difficulty of 26. So this is a page that we definitely can rank for quickly. And so we're just going to need to make sure to optimize the rest of this page for our keyword teeth whining NYC. So there are a few places that we need to make sure that um, we're utilizing this focus keyword, our page title, our H1, and our meta description. So let's come over here to our page settings and let's add a title tag. All right, so we've got number one, top rated teeth cleaning in NYC and let's add the name of our clinic and then let's write a meta description. All right, so that will be good for now. Let's go ahead and save this and then let's also update our H1. We've got the same issue going on here where this is set as an H2. So let's go ahead and update this and then teeth uh, whitening NYC 
And I think we should probably make this a little bit wider so we can fit all this on one line. Teeth whitening NYC, there we go. And let's go ahead and publish. All right, this has been published. So let's come back over to SEMflow, open this up and re-audit just our teeth whitening page. Oh, and now it's showing that our page title still does not contain the keyword. And I think the reason for this is, is I use teeth cleaning instead of teeth whitening. So let's come back here. Oh, not our homepage, our teeth whitening page. Teeth whitening there. And then let's see, did I make the same mistake down here? Best teeth whitening, here we go. All right, so we'll go ahead and click save on this and we're gonna republish and then that should be adjusted within SEMflow. All right, back over to SEMflow. Let's re-audit this page and we should see a couple more green checks, perfect. Now you see that our meta description length is a little bit too short. So that's really the only other thing that's going to prevent us from fully optimizing this page um, aside from implementing our keyword into our content. So let's come back over to our meta description, teeth whitening, and let's make this a little bit longer. All right, save that, republish, and hopefully we are going to be in the perfect range. All right, so let's go and once again re-audit this page, and our meta description length is perfect, and we have a green check here next to our teeth whitening page, and we've reached a 60%. And so we've been able to make some great strides with our on-page optimizations. Um, so all you would need to do is just go through the rest of your pages, find the perfect keywords, make sure that your page performance is in a good spot with our Google PageSpeed Insights um, extension here. And then just go through each of these steps and make sure that you're not missing anything because once all of this is done, you're giving Google everything that it needs and that it's looking for to determine whether or not your site is the right site to rank for a specific focus keyword. So if you have not yet tried SEMflow, we offer a free seven day trial. And the goal with this tool is to make it the most affordable and effective way to optimize your Webflow sites for SEO and to rank them on search engines. And so go give it a try because this is a tool that has greatly affected our internal SEO campaigns. So thanks so much for watching. Go to SEMflow.com if you want to try it out and we will catch you in the next video.